Hey, welcome back again. And I just want to do one more quick video this morning. Uh, I was notified that Unify 5.0.7 is now available. And it, it does address some issues. They There's some cosmetic changes, but then there's a few other changes. If you're interested in that, go over to community.ubnt.com. Go over to the Unify section and you can read the release notes on that. Uh, but real quick, the last video we did was an upgrade to 5.0.6. So we are real quick going to do an upgrade to 5.0.7. First thing we're going to do is we're going to log into the controller and we're going to do that backup. Maintenance, backup, we're going to do, yeah, seven days is fine. So we're going to download this. There's our backup file. The backup file should be getting, yeah, it was done before you showed me the message, which is fantastic. We're going to go ahead and log out. We're going to hop over to www.ubnt.com. We're going to go to downloads. We're going to go to unify. And we're going to scroll down. You can see 5.0.7. And we do the Debian Ubuntu. So we're going to get the link. And I guess I could just click that, right? And then we're going to open up a connection to our controller. I haven't had any coffee yet. I've been up for two hours, no coffee which is strange but this should uh, oh uh, I'm gonna delete this existing deb package I'm gonna grab the new one from the link that we copied And then we're going to run the uh, dpackage i unify. We're run the dpackage hyphen i unify underscore sysv init underscore all dot deb. Going to ask us for our sudo password. It's going to stop the unify controller. We'll run the upgrade that, and you'll see that information here. So it is unpacking 5.0.7-8593 over 5.0.6-8571. It restarted the controller. So we'll come over here and we'll click refresh. It's waiting. And now it's on version 5.0.7. So you can see that the upgrade is done. We're at 5.0.7. We'll log in just to make sure everything is is working and looks like everything is good at first glance doesn't look like there's any new firmware for the AP so that's good so uh, if you enjoyed the video please give a thumbs up please subscribe comment share all that good stuff and we'll see you in the next video